We're going to unpack Ethnology Disk Station DS416 and also install two WD RAID 3 terabyte in a RAID system mirroring each other and I'll show you how to do it. Standard 3 pin power cord. Installation guide. Network cable. Another network cable. and the power adapter 12 volts, 7.5 amps and a bunch of screws for the hard drive and the enclosure Here it is, Synology DS416. You can put up to four hard drives. It's got dual fans, dual network adapters, USB 3 ports, two at the back, one in the front. Plastic, good feel though. Okay. Without reading the manual, I believe we need to unscrew these two and it should pop out. And then oh, we don't need to just remove the cover. There we go, very easy to install. Hmm, nice. It's usually uh, one, two, three, four from left to right. Or if it's upside down, it's one, two, three, four. So in this case, one, two, three, four. We're going to install in this into these two trays. You can see the controller in there. tabs do come out, allow easy installation, so just take one side out, install the hard drive, make sure that's in perfectly, yep, that's pretty much it. We don't even need the screws. Nice and solid. <clears throat> Simply slide it in. It's 
second one, do the same, remove one of these sides, there we go, drive facing up, put one side in first. Super simple. Next stage is connect the power and connect the network cable and the rest of the setup is done on the computer. Let's go to the computer and have a look. On the computer, get onto the Synology website, support, download center, select your model, in this case 4 bay TS416. Synology Assistant, I'm using a Mac. Here we go, it's downloading. Make sure your computer is on the same network as the Synology. Otherwise, it can't be found. I need to switch network. Okay, here we go. Synology Assistant is what we're going to use. Let's see what's happening. We already got one in the network and it's picking that up. We're looking for the new one. Now it didn't find it. Although I got a green light on the network connection. Double check all the connections. Yep, they're all good. Yeah, let's switch over to the second port on the Synology and let's search again. 
Yep, there we go. It found it. There we go. And follow the setup according to your network requirements and happy days. Oh, um, you need to download the disk manager software, the operating system, back in the download section. So download the DSM, the latest one at the moment, 6.02, and it thinks there is no internet connection. There it is. It's about 203 megabytes. Once you finish downloading, and it's not a G assistant. <coughs> In the web assistant, just click on browse and select your file. Thank you for watching.